Hello foodies, my name is John Austin as Food Coaching and today I'll be talking you through my 4-1-2-1-2 tactics. So let's start with the tactics and instructions. As you can see here, the defensive style is on press after possession loss. We want to be able to use our narrow formation to overwhelm the opponent if you lose the ball to them around the box and go for a quick turnaround goal. About 60% of all goals during the playtest were from this approach. The defensive width is on 4 while the defensive depth is on 7 using the good old fashioned automatic offside trap. Be careful not to rush out with your central defenders, as I explain later. Offensive style is unbalanced and very neutral with 4 on width. Players on box, corners and free kicks are set low as well, although the last two are preference and you can switch that around. Then let's dive into the instructions, and here is where I went a bit different than what you came to expect from me. The strikers are on stay forward and getting behind, and stay forward is definitely different from what I usually play, but again, we want that extra added pressure. And therefore, the cam is also on stay forward and get into the box. The CMs are on cover wing, so they can cover from the upcoming fullbacks if they lose the ball, and that brings us to the fullbacks, which are on balanced and overlap. I tried using joining attack, but I was a bit too attacking and left us way too exposed. So I think balance is key here. So let's start with the basics. 4-1-2-1-2 narrow is a very narrow formation of course, with a lot of short passing options. The triangles from CDM to CM and from CM to CAM are really critical in creating chances and getting out of pressure. You can actually use your fullbacks to get out of any pressure they put at you. The fullbacks might actually be your most important players here as they are overlapping and create most of the free space. Your strikers are always available for a pass, but make sure you trigger them with R1 or RB, since they are instructed to get in behind elsewhere. See how close together the center is packed? It's going to be hard for your opponent to play a true ball through that, and you can create loads of triangles to keep the ball in your possession. When you lose the ball, the whole team will push forward to try to get the ball from your opponent, straight away. And because the fullbacks are out of position, as shown in this diagram here, the two CMs will actually move wide a bit to cover for that. And that's why we have the instructions cover wing on these two CMs. And as you can see here, the wings will be completely open when you lose the ball. Our opponents will most likely pick up on that and hoof the ball over there. There's one golden rule in this formation, and that is do not chase them. Just make sure you keep the center backs in the middle to cover for crosses and cut these passing lanes. Your fullbacks and CDM will catch up if you can cover for them a bit longer. If you do run out of position with your center defenders, your opponents will have loads of space and much options for crosses. Now it's time for some examples how to use your fullbacks while having possession and using them in build-up. As you can see here, we use some brought out to go wide. Once again, search for the narrow triangles and go up. Same goes the other side. We open, we press the LB button, some brother comes up and we just go back to the middle and keep recycling the ball using the other fullback on the other side. And that's always an option. You build up to the center, use your fullbacks to overlap, get the fullbacks into the, back into the center and go back. If you lose the ball, you just recycle, keep playing around the box, open up on the other side or even lay back the ball for a bit. But once again, keep using the fullbacks, in this case Roberto Carlos, open up through the center, get back, recycle and go from there. And once again, the fullback. And you keep going as that. Same on turnarounds, you open up to your fullbacks, fullbacks go through the center, use keeping the narrow formation, click the LB button, use the other fullback to overlap and go from there, create space and finish it off with a cross. Now let's talk about these turnarounds and holding the center defenders. Whenever you lose the ball, make sure your defensive formation stays intact, but you can definitely apply some pressure. Here you see an example of one of the wingers cutting in to make sure everything stays solid and the pressure you can apply just by using your fullbacks. Make sure the fullbacks are compact and they will not be able to pass through. In attack, once again, in a turnaround, use your fullbacks to build up, go from there. Sometimes it will lead to a good cross, and this time it will not. As you can see, your plays will swarm around them and enabling some pressure. 
Once your opponent goes to the byline, you make sure the center stays intact. You crowd your own box in the center, you do not drop outside, and you'll be good. And now it's time to score. You can score to two options, either on a fullback attack going from there, applying some pressure on the turnaround. 60% of the, of the goals will come through that. Here you see Insigne as a winger covering the wing, holding the line, through ball, and scoring from it. There was a goal just by applying some pressure. The other way of scoring is, of course, the old-fashioned through ball, which the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow is very good at. You build up, once again, using your fullbacks, will create space on the turnarounds because the center is so compact and you had so many options and a simple through wall will do all of the work. 